All right, it is the biggest evening when it comes to celebrity fashion. And this morning, we want to take a look at some of the over-the-top garments that grace the red carpet at last night's Met Gala. Yeah, that's right. And here to give us her expert opinion is fashion designer Asha Amad. Yay! Thanks for being with us. You look fabulous, by the way. Thank you. you Absolutely know, just fabulous. Just something casual. Just something she could on. Something casual. You know. No, I love it. Um, I and love again, it. I just said this to her in the in the commercial break, but I just want to say it again. Like years ago, I watched. I'm a big Project Runway fan and I was watching Project Runway and heard that she was from Cincinnati. I'm like, oh my gosh, it would be so cool to meet her one day. And, and now I'm doing now. a segment about Look fashion now. with her. Aww, this is just so thank cool. Thank you. So let's talk about the theme last night. Let's talk about it. So the exhibit at the Met Gala is called Sleeping Beauties. Yeah. And it's all about, you know, obviously the fairy tale Sleeping Beauty is about a princess that fell asleep and she had to be reawakened by a kiss from her true love. Um, but this is about fashions that have aged so much that they can no longer stand upright. So there's 16 garments that are in these glass cases, much like how Sleeping Beauty was in her ga glass case waiting to be woken back up. I would love yeah, to be able to go there one day and see some I of these know, wouldn't exhibits. That be so right? cool. So now that we know sort of the theme, and then yes. there was the Garden of Time kind of thing yeah, thrown so in the there too. Yeah, so the actual night is themed by Garden of Time, and it's based on this short story that's all about these rich people that are in a villa, and they're trying to stop an angry mob from coming towards them by cutting roses in this garden that will reverse time. But ultimately, they are overthrown. Ooh. Okay. So, wow. <laughs> All right. So let's see how we saw lots of florals last night. So yes. that makes sense. So let's get into some of the looks of the night. Let's I know Asha picked it. some of her favorites and, and we did too. Asha. I love this one. I think okay. this one's so Did good. you like it? So, okay. Or, this is one of my favorite designers. Okay. This is yes. Usher and Alexander McQueen. Yeah. But to me, he looks like the Hamburglar. He's so <laughs> handsome. Wait. I see so that now. Just so right? This is just too <laughs> much. It's too much. Okay. No, you're right. I can see that now. Um, yeah. Do you maybe, like it? Maybe the overcoat was maybe yes. a little too much or something? That might be a little too much. much. You know, if you took the cape off and you took off the hat, he's got such a handsome face. Right. He's not yes. aging. You know, know, he is really part of that garden of time. Yeah. Um, but the suit by itself and even that rose I love, but we didn't need the cape. It's too okay. much. Too much. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, do you like it when celebrities show up very much on theme or do you like it when they're just in a really, really cool piece? So I kind of think it's a combination of the two. Okay. I say show me something that I love or hate, right? right. The opposite of love is not hate, it's indifference. Right. And so Ooh. as long as you're giving me something, that's what I need. Even okay. if I hate I like it, that. you know, I'm going to kind of love it because like it's a bold that. choice. It inspires right. something in you exactly. rather than just saying, nah, well, boring. Right. Exactly. Uh, and I especially love when people do their own take on yeah. the theme. Yes. All right, so let's yeah. see who's next. Yeah. I think this next one, this was oh. my favorite of the night. She's taking it. Tyla is gorgeous. This is Tyla yeah. in Balmain. And I have to say, my sister just got married in Tulum a couple weeks Ooh. ago. And after the welcome party, a couple of the girls fell in the sand. And I feel like this yes. is very reminiscent well, of that. And she's it's, actually dressed in sand, right? She's dressed in sand, yeah. yeah. So this is a sculpted corset. It outlines her body, but it looks like she just has sand on her. So right. this to me is couture. This is art. I think that she won. Her purse is an hourglass. I, I know. Mean, I on. love the purse detail. I think that's one of my favorite parts yeah. of this whole look. And yeah. I heard her saying that it, she started at 6 a.m., you know, getting that painted on her or however they did oh, was that. Was painted? So uh, it's somehow it was on a her. a gown that has sand on it, but if okay. you see, she has accents of sand. Yeah. So I'm sure all of that was, that part was of being it. painted Plus on her. Plus the okay. wet hair, but she looks like art to yeah. me. To yeah. me, she it's is very cool. She looks she so good. Back out. Super cool. So yeah. good. All right, next up, who do we have? Let's see. Okay. Okay. This one. I, this one, I don't and know. I love her. Yes. But in my opinion, I didn't feel like this was on theme, or it was like more like something that you wear like after you take your gown off and like, yeah, it seems like yeah. an after time to go to the after party. party. Exactly. So we love Zoe Saldana, right. but I feel like her styling team needs to be fired. This is yeah. boring. Honestly, as a woman, she has such a great shape. Right. Mm -hmm. I love when we cut ourselves in an hourglass way that accents our shape. And this belt kind of like lying across her hips is really fighting against right. that. So that's a great tip for women. Always cinch in that waist. We love yeah. to look snatched, right? Yeah. Right. And this just doesn't quite do it for me, but she is gorgeous. She is an absolutely stunning human being, yeah. for sure. Absolutely. Yeah. I just, yeah. just, it was one of those things I was just kind of like, eh. It was a womp womp. Yeah, womp like, womp. Well, womp. These tickets are 75K. Like, come on, give me oh, something, give me something more. more. right? Right. Well, someone that did bring a little bit more was one of the hosts of the night, Bad Bunny, right? Oh, and yes. he looks so good. <laughs> I feel like this was, this is one of those looks where you're like, it's giving at least something. You something, know what I'm saying? Yes. It's giving me something. Yeah. yeah. So this is Bad Bunny and Mason Margiela. And we don't have a picture of his shoes, but he has these tabbies on that are custom. Mm -hmm. Them. 
with fur on them. So this is giving me something. I love it. I love all of the tailoring. Yes. So these lines are actually reminiscent of what like old school tailors do to menswear. Oh and so wow! I think that he gave us something yeah. that's exciting. Yes. Not exactly sure about the hat, but I, I was going to say that the hat was the only the thing that I could have maybe done without. Really interesting choice. With the hat, but yeah. I love the glasses. I love the gloves. I think everything else. Yeah. Looks and very I love dapper. it when menswear takes more than. I mean, I love a nice crisp tuxedo. Yeah. Like but Chris Hemsworth. I thought he. Yeah. Looked he looked yeah. amazing too. Well, you put him in anything. You're going this is yeah. um, <laughs> but when, when you get something different for um, um, a male, it's it's really really cool. Yeah. Okay. This next this one, one, I think we all agree. I think that this one's this was really. I love this one. Gigi Hadid. Oh yeah, Gigi Hadid and Tom Brown, which is another one of my favorite designers. And I usually love Tom Brown's menswear, but this actually has accents of menswear, so she's got some tuxedo detailing. Yes. But the bottom of this is just gorgeous. It's so cool. It's art. I think her hourglass shape, which we were talking yeah. about earlier, looks amazing. She killed it. She's one of my winners. And I can yeah. I can totally hear the judges like on Project Runway going, and the styling. It's yes. all about yes. the styling, like minimal, you know, but her perfect red lips and the yes. hair, like it didn't yes. overpower the dress. Like, yeah. When did you see that it was two parts? So that oh. bottom part actually came off. Like this yeah. part? Yes. Oh, okay. If you look at it, it looks like a jacket that's yeah. falling yeah. off of her, right? I love that. So it's cool. neat. And Tom Brown is known for his tailoring okay. and usually menswear. So I thought this was a great really feminine neat. take on Just that. Beautiful. Yeah. yeah. No, I thought that was so Very gorgeous. Cool. Okay, so up so next, nice. Gabrielle Union. I can't remember. Oh, oh okay. 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 So this is Gabrielle Union and Michael Kors and her husband, Dwayne Wade and Versace. And honestly, I love this couple, but yes, to me, the fabric couple. is giving Hobby Lobby. I don't like it. I can it. see that. And it also yeah. looks kind of mermaid-ish, -like to which me. to me is kind of off theme, right? It like, is I don't know. I mean, it's like not, not like you have to be on theme, but I, you don't I, have to be on theme, but to me, it just looks a little bit childish. And they usually do such a good job matching each other. This was a little bit of a miss for me. Yeah. I agree. Okay. Uh, agree. Up next, we're, I want to make sure we get them all in. We have Zendaya. <laughs> and she had two looks. She did yes. have two now, looks. She walked the red carpet twice. She's infamously styled by the amazing Law Roach. Yes. And I thought this was amazing. So this was her first look up on the red carpet. This is a Margiela piece as well. And I love it. It kind of reminds me of Hocus Pocus, but in a really high fashion, fabulous way. Oh, I can see that. For right? sure. I didn't catch the earring before. Is that like a hummingbird or yeah, something? Yes, the bird. bird. And then oh she has gosh, feathers cool. in that headpiece yeah. as well. Oh, so pretty. I thought that was a beautiful look, too. That yeah. was cool. And then later she returned. Cool. Sorry. No. I also thought it was cool how she really embodied like the time. So this is yes. a, a, a piece from back in the day. And that's very reminiscent of when we used to watch like America's Next Top Model. Yeah. And that's how the models pose for high fashion. So I love how she like took on the time of that piece. Typical oh, Zendaya, really right? Cool. To embody, yeah. to completely. Yeah. And then and here's her other her look. Yes, look. And here she is in her second look. And I love this. What do you ladies think of the headpiece? I think it's really cool. Yeah, yeah right? it's very reminiscent of something like you would see maybe like 200 years ago. And I think the bodice, too. Just yeah. the way. I think she was definitely trying to go for something yeah, that, more yeah. old-fashioned looking, maybe. Absolutely. It, was very it had cool. this huge train on it. I thought yeah. she looked gorgeous. I thought she looked I gorgeous, too. And total, yeah. like, there's a total transformation of the dark makeup yes. to this look. You know what I mean? How it's does she do that? How a did, team. I'm sure she has yeah, a team. A team. She? An amazing team. And really, a girl after my own heart, like walking the red carpet twice. Twice. So yes. extra. And I love that. That's amazing. <laughs> but she can do it. No, she I can do it. I think we have time for more. Yeah, Kim. Kim K. Now, ironically, I'm like, she's low-key kind of giving the same silhouette as me, right? This is Kim K and Margiela. I love it. Like to me, this is kind of mixing the casual with high yes. fashion, and she looks so cozy and effortlessly beautiful. I was gonna ask what you thought of the sweater because I've seen on social media some people were like, "What is up with the sweater and that dress?" <laughs> I love it. You know, like a lot of times when I get dressed up for a formal event, I have this like long gray sweater yeah. that's kind of like a robe. Yeah. And I'll have it on until I need it off, but maybe now I'll think about keeping it on. Yeah. I know. I love that. Yeah. All right. I love and that. do we have time for Lana Del Rey? Can ah. Real quick. Oh, there she is. Yeah. Okay, there she is. Okay, your thoughts on this. This is Lana Del Rey and Alexander McQueen. I'm glad we got to this because this is the Alexander McQueen I fell in love with in college. Yes. Rest in peace. He's an amazing designer. And this was beautiful. I felt like she's one of my best dressed in this. She, yeah, she definitely killed it with this theme, I think. And then also just the look, as you said, like the silhouette. So Absolutely. nice. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And single so red rose there, like yes. going, playing yeah. off the, the story, the short story. Yeah, yeah, yeah this is yeah. a fairy tale come to life. Yeah. I love it. I think she looks, looks great. Beautiful. Yeah. Oh, that was so fun. Just yeah. So many great. I mean, and those are just a few. Yes, did Sydney Sweeney. So did you see Sydney Sweeney? I thought she was really cool. She I wore did. the black bob and had so like a blue. Carpenter, oh, I thought there was really just so many. Uh, yeah, so many. I know. Well, thanks for having me. Yeah, on. thank you so much for coming thank on. Thank you for being with us. And for her next visit, she's going to make over Bob. I am. Oh my goodness. I have done such a good idea. Can you please? We're making you over. By the way, you had me at hamburger. I love it. All to get so ladies and gentlemen. Make sure you look her up and check out all that she's doing because she's doing so many great things. So thank, thank you for ladies. taking the time to come in here. Thank you. And we'll be back.
Sure, you can stop watching, but let's be honest, you want to know more. Tap the links or even better, click subscribe to stay in the know.